Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Nisha for those who are tuning in for the first time. Hey. <laughs> and of course, for those who have been here, you already know what's up, what to do, baby boos. Today we're doing a full face of new makeup. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay, so if you guys see Shop My Stash, I know I did it kind of different this week, kind of like a vlog style. Um, yeah, I just wanted to switch up, you know, the scenery just a little bit, just a little bit, but um yeah so just make sure you guys check it out you guys will understand what's going on this week and let's get started so i said in that video i was going to do like more like sh not f how can i explain <laughs> i'm trying to get it out i'm like i didn't really have any like newer foundations to try except for the ones in my drawer but right now i'm going through an episode of on flow so i don't want to switch up too much you know because i know my skin and i feel like the week that i'm on or that she's about to come my skin just goes a little haywire and i messed up because i tried a new skincare product completely like a whole new serum a whole new toner cleanser and i never do that and i know myself i usually would introduce myself into like one new product inside my skincare routine just to see how that works and then take something away and then put something new you know kind of keep it going that way but i was like yeah let's go ahead and do it strictly so i have a breakout from that and i returned everything so yeah y'all will know details about that in the vlog so stay tuned but we have some new things to play with i thought i was going to only just do like blush and lip combos but definitely not a new foundation like i mentioned but i said we got some new eyeshadows in there too that that i got from my beauty box and so we're using a brand new eyeshadow we got the cover girl this is the velvet blur matte primer yes i got the what is this called the sun boost gloss with the spf from elf i got the new maybelline lip filter is this what is it called yeah lifter liner sorry what else is new over here did i didn't i grab some oh and then a half matching blush okay let's get into it <laughs> i want to do my skin prep first uh because i'm curious to see how this primer is going to work so like i said this is the covergirl true blend skin enhancer velvet blur primer so a little bit about this primer i'm reading from the back of it it said that it's going to minimize the appearance of your pores it's a silky lightweight balm smooth and blurs texture for enhanced natural complexion and it helps makeup apply evenly and stay on all day velvet soft matte finish so let's go ahead and give it a go Ooh. right away i can feel how soft and though oh my gosh this is soft this is soft oh i can't think what, what is soft and creamy that you rub on like this is like oh my gosh this is like softer than like lotion like you can feel like it's a gel kind of feel to it but it's a soft velvet feel like it really feels like butter like look at the difference on my hands can y'all see that i know y'all can see that don't just look more blur smooth out texture is good look at that okay let's put her on the face honey oh my clip is coming out oh, hold up hold up <laughs> let's see i'm gonna put some all right here y'all know i got texture skin so this is the perfect time to really see how this go i don't smell any smelling thing on it so let's see if i see a difference right away can y'all see a difference i feel like my skin looks a little bit more like hydrated just a little bit kind of plump I didn't want to put any type of like moisturizer or anything like that today because I really want to see how this primer is going to work out. So I want to see how matte is going to be because there's some matte primers like too matte, but this feels like, I don't know, is there hydration in this? Like what is that? Mm, I like it though. I like it. Okay, let me let this dry down and we're going to go in with the foundation, which is not going to be new. So I'm just going to do that off camera, which is the Anastasia. Okay. So this is what my face is looking like right now with this primer mixed with this foundation, which is crazy because y'all know this foundation is a luminous one. So I wanted to test these two together to see if it was going to be like matte out this foundation as much as possible or if it was just going to 
still let it do what it's doing. And I think it is. And I'm okay with that. So I know I can see if something is going to be like a true matte. And the way that it was giving off soft vibes, I knew this was not going to mattify me at all. I could be wrong though. But I'm just saying like, I don't know. I just didn't feel like it was going to be like matte, 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 matte. Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what primer that it reminds me of. Like the texture wise. And I cannot think of it. But I know I have something kind of similar to that in my collection. I just can't think of which brand or product I'm trying to think of. But I still feel like it's a good primer. Because she, because it did blur out my skin texture a lot. Cause like I told you, I have a lot of breakout going on right now due to my flow flowing. <laughs> but so far it looks really good. All right, now I'm just blending out the Anastasia concealer. I'm just halfway blending it out. So I'm ready to dry down the a little more in a thickum size, but I'm gonna go in with my Rim Beauty. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go in and contour with this now this blush that i'm about to use it's like a cream to matte kind of formula so i'm debating if i want to use it with my liquids and cream products or if i want to apply it on top um, i think i've used this blush once and i applied it on top and i think i did like i just can't remember so i want to try that again just to get a full feel of it All right, and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with Anastasia setting powder. It's a translucent one. I'm gonna put that all over the face. I go a little bit more heavier underneath the eye, pretty much for all the concealer areas that I put. I'm just gonna go a little bit more heavier with the powder. And then as I get towards the other parts of my face, I go a little bit lighter. I'm going to contour with Beauty Bakery because I don't have any Anastasia bronzer. But I don't even think they have anything that's deep. Like, I just thought about it. I'm like, I think I looked and they didn't have any deep shades. I think once upon a time they did, but they got rid of their little bronzing kits that I feel like they need to bring back. definitely out here still browning our face. I know I am. My hands are a little dirty but we're gonna go in with this half magic blush. So this blush is called Only Drama. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put her on off camera because y'all know I'm doing this YouTube short TikTok thing. I'll be back. Remember why I love this blush. Yes. Um yeah so it's like a cream to matte kind of formula because like when you feel her she feels very waxy creamy like it's a true on purple y'all see that yeah okay and she stains so she so i feel like you have the option to either use this blush during your cream and liquid parts or you can do like me and put it right on top of the mattes and i feel like right on top of the powders and I feel like it really like like it stays it sticks like it don't go nowhere like this is just a soft coating of this blush if you want to keep adding layers you're gonna get this we like blush over here so I'm gonna keep adding layers to this and I really like that it's like you have control over this you're not gonna go overboard you know 
I didn't even look at this palette. I forgot what this eyeshadow palette looks like. See, usually I do like my my eyes first, y'all. Y'all know that. I'm going with my face up first. But the way that this blush is blushing. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we're gonna go in with the apple powder real quick. Just kind of melt the edges into the skin. This blush. Oh my god, okay, I'm so happy. I have another half magic blush too that I got, so I can't wait to try that one out. But yes, this one is like my summer. She's not even summer, like she's gonna be like a, a yearly color. Cause during the fall season, I'm popping this purple onto the cheeks. I am, okay. Let's do something with these eyes now. How do you, that's my eyeshadow. Okay, let's open up this El Maquillage palette. Um, so there's four eyeshadows in here. I got this in one of my subscriptions. I want to say the Boxy Ipsy. This is what she looks like. So I'm going to try it. No, these other colors are not giving matte vibes. I'm going to try to use it. No, I'm, I'm, I, need, I, need a, I need a base. I cannot find my essence palette. I don't know where she at. But okay, let's get into this El Maquillage palette, shall we? I don't know what the other formulas are. Like it's kind of hard to tell. So I'm gonna just finger swatch. Looks like I have a metallic. That's definitely a metallic. I don't know what that one is. I wanna say there's two mattes, two. It looks like these are the two metallics and then these over here are the two mattes, if that makes any sense. It looks like I might only have this brown to kind of work off for my crease. But what I am going to do, I'm going to take a different style of brush and kind of like fluff it, blend it. Yeah, with a different brush. To kind of like soften it up just a little bit. I guess we're going for a soft glam today. Which we don't mind over here, especially with this blush. This blush is okay. Oh, this is blending out really nice too, by the way. This crease is crazy right now. I like it. I really, really like it. Okay. Um. I mean, it's a softer palette. I mean, what to expect? I do want to try this metallic shade out. So I'm not gonna. Oh my god! I forgot I had that on my ah. <laughs> I forgot I had that on my hands. No. Okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. We're just gonna reapply a little bit more base. That's why it's important to have your hands clean. This is why I usually do have a wipe on my desk, but I forgot to grab that today, so. Y'all get to see all my mistakes. <laughs> and then I put on that eye, might as well do it to the other eye. Perfect, I love how that matte white look against this bro i'm tempted just, just to do my but okay i'm gonna do this metallic color right here and i'm gonna use my finger because i think this is gorgeous enough to get away from using my finger because it is you know what this palette reminds me like the quality i feel like these i guess i can call this a luxury uh a luxury, <laughs> a luxury brand i feel like their palettes are their formulas like are kind of different it's like not your average normal like morphe 
type of palettes. Like I feel like they use a different kind of formula that makes you feel a little, you know, a little. Feel like you got something expensive on your eyes. It's not good or bad, but it's definitely not. What I'm trying to say, it's not vibrant. It's it's very soft. Like it's meant to be soft. all I want to really do on my eyes I might add a little bit of this brown and kind of pop it towards the outer this eye color is so soft and pretty I think it's go perfect with this whole face the face is giving by the way so this matte is matting the primer is matting yeah usually I can see like my glow still peeking through with my powders and foundation no, this looks mad. Like, it even made my bump disappear. I'm almost... Okay. Look, let me pop on lashes and liner real quick. Because that's all I'm going to do for the face. What else did I pop? Bring... Oh, I said... I need to go to bed. I keep stuttering. I need to go to bed. Okay, we're going to come back with the lip combo. Because that's the only two things left that I picked out. So, I'll be right back. Before I go in with my stuff... I'm gonna... Let's go ahead and wipe my lip oil off and just do my lip combo now. And then I'll just pop on my liner and lashes. The only thing I'm going to do for the bottom part is pop on a black liner and or maybe a brown, a, or maybe a brown liner. My foot is itching, y'all. This is the Lifter Liner. So y'all know Maybelline came out with some new Lifter Liners. And they came out with two, which looks like, because I haven't tried them, two deep beautiful brows there's other shades but y'all know i get more excited for the browns if you're a deeper girl then you already know like we i get excited for having and trying out different brown lip liners because not a lot of brands can to, can nail it. it it's really surprising you will think it'd be easy but especially if one brand do it i'm like just just see what they doing and put your title on it you know but a lot of the deep browns that I've been like trying and discovering, I noticed that a lot of them have a lot of like red undertone. And I'm just like, um, someone in my, you know, my color, color, <laughs> someone who's in, someone who's around my complexion, we don't lean towards a red brown lip liner. Like I like a nice, rich, deep chocolate. No red undertone, just strictly chocolate brown a deep true brown lip liner and i feel like there's two brands who gets it right and understands so far nyx ColourPop, and there's another brand that I, I i do like there's a couple of lip liners that i like that's definitely in the deeper complexion if y'all want to see my top i just showcase my deep liners because i have a lot i feel like a lot that i don't even show you guys let me know. I even got a good cute one from Charlotte Tilbury. Let me know. I could do like my top five, top ten. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. But I hope this might be in my top because she Oh, she cute. Let's do a little swatch. Oh no. She has a little bit of red. Ah! I had high high hopes for you. Okay. Look what the packaging looks like. I guess because even on camera it looks a little red. Okay, well I, I picked it out so. I might have to go in with an actual um, another lip liner because this might be too red for me. But let me put it on. I'm gonna do my little lighting because I'm gonna film this little part for TikTok purpose. I'm gonna go in with pitch to kind of fix this because no. Let me show these brands with a true, beautiful, deep brown lip liner is supposed to look like.
And then here is what the lip gloss looks like. I feel like you have to put a lot of coatings on your lips to get the proper gloss shine that I'm trying to lean toward. But she is cute though. She gave me something I'm gonna wipe off my wand so I can wipe that lip liner off so it won't change the color of this product when I... I like this. This has more tint color than the actual Elf was those lip oils. This is actually cute. Okay, let me pop on lashes and stuff. And then I'll be right back to give you guys this complete and final look. I'm all the way here for this. The cheeks. Yeah, okay. Uh, really quick, uh, for my bottom lash line, I actually went in with a eyeliner that was not going to do anything for my lips so I decided to make it to an eyeliner. And this is the Sephora Gel Lip Liners. I'm gonna need this, it's a shade that I'm trying to get from them. I can't think of it on top of my head but I thought I put this in my cart. This came to me and I'm like, this is not what I ordered but it's a really nice deep brown that I've been trying to get for the longest. It's always sold out inside the stores. But the way that this formula is, I cannot wait to get my hands on that one because I feel like she's going to be another beautiful deep brown to add to my top favorites. But as for that, that's pretty much the whole entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, especially if you guys would like to see more videos like this, me trying out new products. Everything I tried out, to be honest, I love. I was expecting to not like something. Even the lip liner, although it's not my ideal favorite color, but the way that it comboed this lip. Okay, Maybelline. I see you. I'm hoping that because I got one more shade. I do have one more shade to try for Maybelline and it is deeper. So I'm praying that that one's going to be an actual true deep brown. I'm hoping. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't leave your feedback down the bottom if you haven't already. I usually don't say this, but if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell as well so that way you would never miss out on a video from yours truly. And on that note, you guys have a beautiful day. Stay blessed, stay amazing, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.